First off, I want to say, we hear you, we hear you, we hear you, is exactly what Sierra said when they built this fifth well. So, I'm Troy, Legacy RV Center, 3711 South State in Salt Lake City. And actually, to be honest with you, I am just the director of fun here. As long as you're having fun, I'm doing my job. Hey, listen, we got something super cool to talk about today. So this is actually a bunkhouse that is uh, made for full-time living. It's the Sierra Luxury 388 BHRD. And this got a little bit of everything. So Sierra actually listened to some customers out there and got some feedback. And there's a lot of fifth wheels out there for full timers, but they only sleep a couple of people. In today's world, there's a lot of people that are YouTubers or uh, that just work from home, work remotely. And so they have kids, but they really don't have a full time live in fifth wheel to live in. So this is a one of a kind. And I'm super excited to show this to you. And I'm super excited to sell it to you. <clears throat> but first off, we need subscribers, guys. Help us subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I promise we won't let you down. We won't send you bad videos. We'll just send you fun ones that are super informative. So with that in mind, let's get started here. First thing I wanna to touch on is storage, storage, storage on the outside. Then I wanna talk about how it's insulated and then just kind of walk you around the coach and surprise you with how much storage this really has. Let's let's uh, get looking here. First off, so in the in the actual uh, luxury edition of this year, they actually dropped the chassis down, so it allows you to have a ton more storage. I really really like where they put the spare tire on this, so they put it actually in the compartment and they put it uh, in in a place so. A lot of times I'll put it on the rear, put it underneath so it'll kind of bounce free and uh, fall off your trailer. That's actually a smart, smart place to put it. So anyway, spare tire, tons of storage in here. You've actually got outlet out here as well as a cable hookup as well. Okay, so right here you've got the nice stairs. They just fold up into the fifth wheel, but they're a lot more stable to actually walk on. The other thing is they use high gloss fiberglass on the exterior uh, wall of the trailer. And that's a big deal because a lot, a lot of times you see these trailers that are all kind of faded out or d -lam. With this high gloss fiberglass, this is going to look as good in 10 years as it looks today. The other thing that I like that these guys did is actually used uh, real hydraulic jacks. So, uh, so there's a couple of different jacking systems out there. There's the electric and then there's the hydraulic. These manufacturers know that a lot of people, as long as it says uh, six point self-leveling jacks, uh, they just think that that's, uh, okay, it's got the self-leveling jacks, right? Well, there's a big difference between the two. These are actually good solid hydraulic jacks and self-leveling, they've got pre uh, presets for your truck. Let's say that you, the wife, or even the kids have all different trucks. You can set, set the hitch height to different uh, trucks. So that's a big value, I think. So anyway, come on over here. I'll, I want to show you storage. What's unique about this floor plan is a couple things. So, so Seems like like the rear inter entertainment uh, floor plan has really been coming across really big so that you could get all of this big storage back here. How many times, how many fifth wheels have you seen with this big storage back here? So like I was telling you, if you're living in this, have big need for lots of storage, this is kind of your ticket here. So if you come around here, they even put you in a nice slide, in, uh, slide out tray right here. So if you are a full-timer, have kids, get tired of them, you can actually bolt them in here. We sell an optional duct tape kit so that uh, you don't even know they're camping with you or living with you. So all jokes aside, you can put lots of stuff in here. And I love that they do this slide out tray. This slide out tray is a big deal to me because nothing I hate more than actually having to climb in and try and sort stuff out inside of the storage compartment. So. So I like that they did that. Coming around here, we put extra stuff right here. They do some cargo netting around, which you can actually take out if you don't want, but this is just to help keep all your stuff secured in here. And it actually reaches around 
and you can put like uh, golf clubs, <laughs> kind of your longer <laughs> items right there. It's also lit as well, and it's. I wish it was nighttime so you could see how well it's lit. So that if you run out in the middle of the night, you can really get a good idea of what you've got in here. So coming around, got your 10, 10 gallon hot water here. But they've simplified this part right here. So all your uh, uh, valves for your tanks are right here. Some of these trailers that claim to be a full-time, uh, full-timers RV, uh, actually have the gate valves down here in the exposed area. These guys actually put it up in the enclosed underbelly. So another big, big thing to me is the filter right here. So this is a water filtration system. The nice thing about this is it filters all of the water going into the trailer instead of just under the sink. So lately, me and my wife have been getting into this big drinking water uh, kick. And when we're out camping, I don't ever drink out of uh, the faucets because most of them don't have the filtration system. Anyway, uh, with, with this, you've got it that, that'll go both in the shower, it'll go to the actual sinks, but back to my point on drinking lots of water. So, uh, so with the environment, we try to be super environmentally friendly. So, uh, so every time we drink out of bottled water, I'm thinking, crap, man, I'm, uh, uh, so another thing too, so this has actually got two bathrooms in it. So it would, you would think that, uh, it'd be super important, uh, super important to actually flush out both tanks. They've actually thought of that. So, uh, right here, you've got a black tank flush here and you've got a black tank flush here. So they've kind of thought about a little bit of everything on this. So, uh, this entire fifth wheel is wrapped in astrofoil even in the slides. And basically it's, it, it really doesn't add to the insulation value, but here's what it does. So it's designed to help the cool air, uh, to keep the cool air in or keep the cold air out. So kind of a nice little feature, just a little added benefit there. Uh, anyway, so uh, right here, this has got built-in solar and you've got a battery cutoff switch which I'm a little bit embarrassed to say this because I've been in the RV industry basically all my life and we couldn't get the lights to turn on. And my cameraman, Zach, actually said, hey, did you hit the battery cutoff switch? And I'm like, oh my gosh. So anyway, it does have the battery cutoff switch. Somebody made a comment one day too that I referred to the cameraman just as a cameraman. His name is Zach. I prefer to be cameraman. Yep, and he's also my son. He's way better looking than I am. So a lot more fun too. So anyway, let's uh, come around here. I wanna show you a couple other key things here. So this is actually a full painted cap. A lot of these manufacturers to get this color will just impregnate the color into the actual uh, cap when they're molding it. This is actually an automotive uh, paint on the front. So it's gonna protect you from uh, from fading. It's also uh, a little more resistant to uh, chips and things like that when you're cruising down the road. So I bet you guys are like thinking, all right, Troy, we want to see what the inside of this bad boy looks like. And I think we'll do that on the next uh, segment. So thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. All right, guys, I was just kidding with you. Just joshing. I couldn't keep you till the next segment because this is so cool. But first, I want to uh, tell you guys something. So we are practicing on our interaction skills with people when they leave comments. So ask me any question about this trailer. Ask me any question that you want about anything. And I think we might surprise you how fast that I get back with you. So anyway, I just wanted to put that little plug in and... Have you guys subscribed to our channel yet? We desperately want you to, we want you to subscribe to our channel, all right? So we got upper echelon that we're trying to please and we got to build, build, build more of a following. So anyway, having said all that, what do you guys think? Did I disappoint you? All right, we are inside again, the 2022 first off, Sierra Luxury 388BHRD. So let's get started on this thing real quick. Okay, so 
first off, so you've got your little dining room table here. So the little little debate here, and this could be a, a question that you could answer for us. Uh, so uh, dinette or do you like the table and chairs? So we'd love your feedback on that because me personally, I like the table and chairs just because we're in a bunkhouse. We've already got tons of uh, uh, places for people to sit. And as a family, it's kind of nice to just sit down and have a uh, uh, dinner and be able to talk to your kids. Uh, well, we don't like to talk to our kids, but look at our kids. Okay, we don't like to look at our kids. Okay, me and the wife like to have dinner alone and have the kids in the bunk room. So, uh, which leads me to, let's go look at that. And then we're going to come back to the kitchen. Then we're going to go up to the bathroom up here, and then we're going to go to the bedroom. So follow me back here. First, I want you to notice, so stairs coming up to the kids' room up here. So you've got your kids' gaming chair here, so they can sit here and game, and you won't even know that they're with you. This comes down, makes into another bed right here. On the other side, we've got uh, bed and bed. Plus, we've got storage literally everywhere uh, to store all the kids' clothes. So, kind of a nice little feature. They even put you some down here, which is pretty cool. So, all your kids can have their own little drawers and closets and put your TV right here. And then, so you don't have to see your kids. They've got their own half bath back here, which is super cool. A lot of these bunkhouses have one back here, but it's not up the way that this one's set up. So, super nice. Uh, anyway, look over here. Follow me. A little trick lighting there. Storage here. You've got your home theater system. So, you've got the Connex, which is actually built for an RV. So, it's built to withstand the gyration going down the road. Surround sound right there. Then you've got the nice little mood lighting on the fireplace. Cabinets, cabinets. And did I say cabinets pantry right here with drawers. You can put all your canned goods down here or you could even put some of your kids in there if you wanted. So uh, nice big microwave here. A lot, a lot of these manufacturers are putting these dinky little microwaves in here that you really can't fit much in there. But that's actually built for a family. Then, look at this thing. That is not just an oven. That is actually a bad beep, beep, beep oven here. So, four burners, okay? Grilled top on here. High output burners as well. Look how big that oven is. Usually, I have to make a little joke about cooking a turkey in an RV oven. I always tell people, of course you can. You just got to cut it up before. But with this one, you can actually put a full-size turkey in there. So that's a super cool little uh, feature. Salt service countertops right here. More storage, more drawers coming around here. Got a nice couch here. You've got recliners right here. This actually makes out into a bed as well. So you can sleep an additional person down here. Nice blinds. You know, and here's the other thing too, I really, really like is they actually have lightened everything up. It's nice and bright and cheery in here. This is a high profile as well. So it feels super, super roomy in here. So you've got your gigantic refrigerator right here. This actually comes out. This is your ice maker, or not ice maker, your freezer right here. But you've got a high capacity, extremely efficient RV for, or uh, fridge that's built for an RV. It's built by LG. Okay, guys, I want you to notice a couple things here. So you've got a nice walk around bed. So you've got your own AC in here and you've got your own thermostat in here. So if you like to keep it nice and cool in here, boom, you got it. If you like to keep it nice and warm in here, boom, you got it. So coming around, you've got a nice big closet too. And if you open the door here, you'll find that I am your dish or your uh, washer and dryer, uh, or you could put an actual machine one right here. And then on the other side, it, tons and tons of storage for shoes, for all your hang up stuff for the wife. So all the men get actually just a little drawer right here to keep all their stuff in right there. Uh, we're going to get a little sign right here that says for the men. Uh, 
I want to show you another thing too. So you can put blankets, stuff like that right there, which is a nice little extra place to tuck stuff. So, and you can put a TV in here, lay in bed, keep the door shut. Then like uh, you don't have a care in the world for just a little while. One last thing I want to talk about, and we're going to head in there, is the shower. The shower in the bathroom, it is super nice. I'll tell you what, I'll make you a deal. Leave me a comment and I'll meet you in the bathroom. La, 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 la. Hey guys, welcome back. So, uh, this has got a nice spacious shower that actually you can sit down in, which is kind of cool because this, so I've got something like this at my house and I love to sit down and take a shower. And this actually gives you kind of a residential fill inside of this uh, shower. Nice glass uh, uh, glass uh, door here. Porcelain toilet, place to hang your towels, which this is kind of a unique thing. Uh, a, lot of the, a lot of these manufacturers don't put a towel rack in there and that drives me crazy. So these guys actually have one. Plus, you've got some extra place to put some dish, uh, dish towel, or not dish towels, bath towels, wash rags, uh, cleaning supplies, whatever you want. And then right here, you've got, oh, is that, I've been looking for my razor. Uh, anyway, so you can put your razor here, got your nice sink here, <clears throat> fantastic fan in here. And you've also got a fantastic fan with rain sensor in the actual living room. So... Guys, I hope you like this video, and I hope I either drive you crazy or you love me. It's kind of a love-hate thing. Tell me which one. Do you love me or do you hate me? We want some comments, and we want subscribers. So, again, thank you so much for watching. I'm Troy at Legacy RV Center. Hashtag Trailer Troy. Uh, let us know what you think, and uh, we'd love to. We'd actually love to sell this to you. Oddly enough, that's why we have it. So, thank you for watching.